Yo, what's up guys? Terrell here. Um, I just want to talk about uh, Naruto for a minute because there's a few things that really start irking the shit out of me, especially because of what happened in this later, uh, especially what happened this week's chapter because um, I finished watching that at work. I mean, I finished reading that at work and it kind of pissed me off for multiple reasons and I kind of want to just discuss some things about Naruto that really pissed me off. Um... I don't know about you, but I feel like the tagline for Shippuden is missed opportunities, and this was something I was going to put on my main channel, but I figured I'd put it here. And when I say missed opportunities, I mean there are things Kishimoto misses in the chapter, and then just things he just does that pisses me off. Now, the thing that particularly pissed me off in this particular chapter is that it's the whole Madara instilling all the, the fucking Renegon and the Sharingan into all the dead zombie-ish Jinkirikis, which I think he did that so he could have control over them, which still makes no fucking sense, considering it is Kabuto's Jutsu, but whatever. Um, that really pissed me off for multiple reasons. Apparently, we did not know that Madara can, has a Jutsu called Pull Out Your Ass, Pull Anything Out of Your Ass Jutsu. Because he literally pulled Sharingans out of his ass. And he pulled Renegons out of his ass. Um, it was like, what the fuck? It literally was like, what the fuck? And the reason why I called this video Missed Opportunities is essentially because I would have gave... This wouldn't have bugged me as much if you would actually took the Jinkirikis and developed them. Like, we, we're literally coming out of the gate seeing these dudes fight at some hexed out level for no fucking reason. And you know what else that really pisses me off? Actually, I should just say Naruto what pisses me off right now. <laughs> because that's really a better name for this video. You know what else pisses me off about Naruto right now? Is that they, at the beginning of the series, they made it seem like, oh, the Uchiha clan is gone. You know, the Sharingan is a dead jutsu and everything. We see the Sharingan way too fucking often for you to make that correlation. Another thing I can mention. What happens to the Byakugan? <laughs> It seems like they just said fuck the Byakugan. Like, this, there's what three eyes? There's, there's the Byakugan, the Sharingan, and the Renegon. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Why? Why is it that we're playing favorites with the with the, for one of them that's been introduced recently and another one that's been around since the beginning of the series? But you know what? We're not gonna really say fuck Byakugan. We're just gonna focus on these two. From from what I from what they told us that when they first introduced the Byakugan, it has a better ocular jutsu is a better ocular jutsu than the fucking Sharingan. But they play the fuck down and all of the shit out of that jutsu. What the hell? Also, another thing I've always been curious about: if if why are why are like all three of the eye jutsus only in the Leaf Village? Now you think about it, because the the Renegon resides in the Uzumaki Clan, which is which originally was in the Leaf Village. And then you have, which is, well, it's, it's survived in the Lee Village. And also, there's something shown that Jumper said in his uh, chapter review for this week's chapter. He says that Naruto might pull out the, it's like if Naruto pulled out the Renegon, that'd be so retarded. He probably will, because he is an Uzumaki, and it seems like Renegon's a KK game guy. So it wouldn't shock me if he did pull out the fucking, if he did pull out the Renegon. It really wouldn't shock me, but it would piss me off, because it would just be just as hex. But yeah, like, why, why do all the three eyes reside in, in the Leaf Village? Another thing, I don't know if anyone thought about this, but the, the Miss Opportunities point I was making earlier, a, a good example of this is actually the first Arkham Shippuden. Why, why couldn't they just, why, why did they make that Gara the one who lost lost his Jinkiriki? Why didn't they just make that another Jinkiriki? Because if you notice, Kishimo, I mean, honestly, you could have actually, ironically, since we knew about the Jinkirikis since like near the beginning of the series, why didn't you bring them up sooner? Just like, why didn't you bring the Kage sooner? I mean, hell, there was Chuni exams. You know, Kages from all over were supposed to come to that thing. And why was that, in retrospect, why was that thing so fucking small? We literally only saw Leaf Village Ninja and Sand Village Ninja fight. That's all we saw. And the whole thing with Orochi, like, there's so many stupid points in Naruto, it pisses me off. Because that didn't make sense. There should have been, we should have seen the other Kages during that. And we should have saw other, we should have saw Amoy and them back around that area. That could have been a big, a good tournament. I mean, obviously it worked out. 
because I still enjoy that uh, that 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 little arc. But I'm just saying, why didn't you just fucking? You could have expanded the hell out of that arc, make that arc feel like a real arc. I mean, it's not. It's, it shouldn't have been too hard. It would have made Naruto be 200 and something episodes without having why wow, 80 of it being over a little bit less than half of it being filler. That's just stupid to me. But also the whole thing about the Jinkiriki for Gar. Why didn't you just switch it out? It wasn't like Gar. It needed to be Gar. It didn't change that much for it being Gar. It would, you you could have switched it out with any of them, especially the one that the, the little kid one. I forget his name. I forget all their names because they're not really important. The only person I remember is Sora, and technically, he his little backstory that's in the filler of the anime isn't technically canon because it's not explained in the fucking manga. But all I'm saying is, why couldn't you replace Gar with one of them for the first arc? And you could have literally had the same events fold out. Granny Chio did not need to be introduced. You could have obviously picked another. You could have actually picked the character to have the same kind of issues as Green Chino because we knew nothing about uh what's his name Saucery is that it yeah Saucery we knew nothing of Saucery so you could have obviously made him someone from a different village he didn't have to be a fucking puppet no, no, see, at that point he, to me it, it's kind of debatable but it isn't like they said the puppet master juice was something that only resides in the same village I don't know why Conqueror is the only one we ever see use the damn jutsu, though. That's kind of retarded. But I'm just saying, you could have picked another... You didn't have to pick Gar. You could have obviously picked a different village and a different Jinkiriki to show off. And we could have did the same thing for the Hidana Kagazu arc. It didn't have to develop Shikamaru, who didn't really fucking need it. You could have picked another character. I feel like the, the tagline for Naruto in, as, as a series itself is missed opportunities. But Shippuden really pushes that fucking tagline because it, it doesn't make sense how much that he could have done and it's like in, in, in the stupid reiteration of Sasuke and all this other shit wouldn't have been as annoying if you had to field up the other annoyances in the series I mean personally to me it, it just seemed like you you like Kishimo like you didn't know what you were doing and we thought you got your shit together during the 80 you know episode filler and you come back into the new gen and it's just like, what the fuck did you accomplish? What did you accomplish? Right now, I would say the beginning of One Piece of the Time Skip is better because at least then it wasn't like, oh, Naruto, you trained for two years and you got slightly smarter. That is literally the accomplishment of the time skip. He got slightly smarter and a little bit stronger. What the fuck? He didn't even learn any new moves, mind you. Just, just got a little bit smarter. What the fuck? I, I, I just... This chapter really pissed me off. Because we would have gave a shit so... Because for one, we never got to see any of these guys' jutsus. And then you hex them out right before they start fighting? It's like, fuck. Why even... I kind of hit the Jinkiriki as a plot device because it, because it didn't get used as well as it could have. It really didn't. You had, you had these 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 nine people who had nine different backstories and nine different mindsets and ways of fighting, and you decide to focus on only two of them. You make the story off of one of them, and you only introduce the second one near the fucking end of the series. That's assuming the war is the last arc. If it's not, then fuck me. Which also is another thing I need to bring up. I think everybody in their grandma wants Naruto to end after the war because there's no, there's nothing else we need to see. There is nothing else we need to see, honestly. And you're probably wondering, I just, I did not. The chapter was, the chapter was fine with the whole emotional bullshit with Naruto and being a savior and his father and his mother and Rakage and B and Tsunade and shit. But it's so overdone in the fucking series, not even other works. Period, but it's just an overdone. Well, actually, it's overdone then too, but it's overdone here even more because we've heard this almost through the entirety of Shippuden. It's like the secondary tagline: "Naruto is the savior of the ninja world." It's the fucking tagline of Shippuden, and you're probably saying, "I hate Naruto." I don't hate Naruto. Surprisingly, like, surprisingly, I should, but I don't. I don't know why I don't, honestly. But just what the fuck? Like there was. What was the point of, 
Like, oh man, Kishimo. I, you know, at, at this point, I kind of wish he ended it in Naruto because then I probably wouldn't have hated the series as much. I really wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have. Hate, I probably wouldn't be as annoyed with the series. And I think I'm annoyed from a fan's perspective. It's not like with Bleach where I was just, I just did not give a fuck anymore. It's like. With Naruto, it pisses me off because I enjoyed the series. Like, I really, really enjoyed the series. So it's annoying as fuck to me when the series has all these problems. I understand that the series really isn't meant for my age group. It's meant for 15-year-olds. But I think even a 15-year-old understands what plot development is and minds. What the fuck? Really? Like, this is just... That's, it's just... It's fucking annoying. You put in arcs that weren't necessarily necessary. Like, I don't mind Naruto being included in the Hidana Kagas and stuff, but you didn't need to focus it around Shikamaru. Or focus, or focus around only two villages until near the end of the series when you mention all the villages beforehand. And there are even situations where the villages should have been shown at least. It's like, he, he, he chose to be slightly biased into a certain amount of time and Kishimoto's style really would piss off anyone who had any type of fandom. It wasn't, it's not... And a lot of people it's like, you're not going to make One Piece comparison. No, I'm not going to make a One Piece comparison. I can make an ass I'm out of and see why people like One Piece more. I mean, I know why. I, I agree with most of those points except for a few of them. But what the fuck? There's nothing Shippuden really, really deserved for the series. I, I have yet to find something in Shippuden that makes me genuinely happy that they made this, they kept this. Because the pain arc is a letdown, the Gar arc is bullshit, the Hidana Kagazu arc is a good arc in itself, but in terms of the actual series, it wasn't fucking necessary. It really wasn't. It was really fucking pointless. And really fucking random. I mean, to be pure, perfectly honest, it's really fucking pointless and really random. It's a good arc. It's probably one of my favorite arcs. But it's a really pointless and random ass Because no one saw... That shit coming. No one was thinking Shikamaru would kill one of the Akatsuki members. Which makes even less sense to me that you have that almost all the Akatsuki members have been killed by Leaf Village Ninja. What the fuck is that about? If I think, like, to me, that's even more retarded. You've introduced Kage's and had almost the entirety of the Leaf Village kill off most of the Akatsuki. Because not. I didn't think about it. Think about it. Sasuke, even, I mean, Sasuke is still a Leaf Village Ninja, regardless of, even if he is rogue, he's still a Leaf, he killed, he killed Data, he killed Itachi, uh, Naruto Kakashi killed Kakazu, Naruto killed Pain, I think Madara killed Conan, so I'm not gonna count that, uh, I, I might as well count that, because that's by correlation, uh, who else? Guy killed well, technically, he committed suicide, but still, I would say Kisume got killed by a guy for the most part. Uh, what else? Who am I missing? So, Sora got killed by Sakura. Slash, yeah, by Sakura, pretty much. It wasn't even Chiyo. It was just Sakura. I guess you could say Sakura ain't Chiyo, but it's still. Like, almost all the fucking. Almost all the accounts got killed off by Leaf Village Ninja. When he died on Kakazu, could have been killed off by other villages. Like, you could have killed off certain. It's like, it's, it's so fucking annoying that the entirety of the, almost the entirety of the Akatsuki got raped by one village because Kishimo couldn't decide if he was going to use the open world or not. And for the most part, he didn't, but for when, when, he, when he fucking decided to use it, it, it seemed kind of half-assed. And now that's why we have this shitty version of the series. But I'm sorry, this is a rant. I apologize, but this is just something that really pissed me off. And all of this was started because they decided to have him pull out Random Sharingans and Renegons out of his ass and make us and make characters that should have been already strong in themselves even more hacks for like no fucking reason and just break the fucking logistics of the show. Like, I, I, it's kind of hard to take Naruto seriously anymore. I'm not even joking, it's just hard. But that's it. I only have, I have a 15 minute time limit on this channel, so this is Terrell, and I'll see you guys later. Peace, so leave your thoughts and comments in the description. I mean, in the description, but comment section below. Peace, so.